Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. And we are back and this time I think I'm going to go with Ephraim because at this point in the story we're going to be choosing between Ephraim and Erica. And personally I prefer Ephraim's side because one, it's more, it's a little bit more challenging. And two, Ephraim is just the better lord. He is just so much better. It's actually insane how much better he is. He's tanky, he's fast, he hits hard. He's every single lord should be in Fire Emblem, I think. And he has 1-2 range at base. So what can you not like about him? Like, he's really good. Well, he doesn't have 1-2 range at base. You gotta trade over the javelin to him. But at the same time, he's still really good. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the story. What is it, Erica? I was thinking about Leon. The last time we saw him was a year and a half ago. You're right, it was at Grotto Keep. Has it really been only a year and a half? <clears throat> Flashback time. Oh, one and a half years ago. Ephraim, Leon, where are you two? We're over here, Erica. You better be quick. Ephraim says he's tired of waiting. Oh, please, I'm sure you could wait a few moments longer. You're late. How does it take you so long to prepare for such a simple trip? Rest easy, Ephraim. There's no need to be so curt with your own sister. After all, a king must learn to treat women with honor and discretion. That's what Father McGregor says. Thank you, Leon. You, unlike my brother, are a true gentleman. I was up far too late thinking about my prayer to the temple, to the flame temple last night. And I'm afraid I, I overslept. Your prayer? What are you babbling about? Come now. You know that flame has been burning since the time of darkness ended. <clears throat> you must have known the story that the flame will answer the prayers of any pilgrim. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, Ephraim, Father McGregor is, tr is going to scold you for neglecting your studies, so don't even joke about that. <clears throat> I need a drink of water. So tell us, what have you decided to pray for, Erica? I, uh, it's a secret. I should have known. You're so boring. Well, how about you, Ephraim? Me? Let's see. I guess I'll pray to become a stronger fighter. You already are strong. That's just like you, Ephraim. Just like you indeed, brother. I can never tell if you're complimenting me or mocking me. Praising you, of course. Right, Erica? Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, that's right. And you, Leon, what will you pray for? What, me? Hmm. I suppose all I really want is for all our people to be happy. That's very, uh, that's very much like you. Very much so, Leon. Now, I'm the one who cannot tell if he's being praised or... You're being praised, as always, Leon. Tell me, why the sudden decision to visit the temple? Did your brother do something to, again? Also, I'm really sorry about, like, the... The cars. People are supposed to be indoors. I don't even know why the people are riding motorcycles. Trucks, I guess I can get. But, like, motorcycles? Why the hell are you on a motorcycle? In the middle of the night. During lockdown. It's so stupid. Anyway. Now, listen, you. Did I read that text or did I just skim by that? Whatever, I'm tired. I just woke up from a nap. Oh, no. It's not what Ephraim's done. It's what he hasn't done. He's listening nothing at all about the sacred stones of the Temple of Flame. So, Father McGregor became angry. He said, one destined to become king and rule over a nation must know the history of his ki kingdom and respect the sacred stones. Ever since I came to Grotto, my life has been chastisement and castigation. Father McGregor's McGregor does not think me to be altogether too kingly. Too kingly. Ugh, I can't read. And yet General Dussel, Dussel is what I call him, has nothing but praise for you, Ephraim. He says you're brave and true. That me that you're the makings of a great king. A great king? Honestly, I have no idea what that means. Erish, Erica should succeed this throne. I would be happily, happy simply taking my lance and traveling the land as a mercenary. Ephraim, that is nothing but foolish, irresponsible romanticism. Do you really do you realize how much your words would fill father's heart with grief? Are we speaking of the same man? Our father will likely outlive us all. For now, I'm content just learning the lands from General Giselle. What about you, Leon? Is there anything you want to do? Me? Well, I I suppose I want to become like my father. You were born to be the Emperor of Grotto, Leon. It suits you. No, I don't think so. I'm not One thing I do know from watching my father is that being Emperor is hard. Every day he answers the complaints of the people, and he almost never sleeps. My father is also ve so very tired. 
I hope that one day, I hope one day that, I hope that I can help him. Leon, you are so honorable. You should learn from him, brother. Again, with your criticism. Tell me, Erica, what say you to dressing like me and becoming king in my stead? You're so skinny, I doubt anyone would notice your, <laughs> you're not really a man. <laughs> Ephraim. Uh, that's funny. That's actually pretty funny. And now they're standing in the same spot. Funny. What do you suppose Leon is doing now? <clears throat> when Emperor Vigard ordered the invasion, how do you think Leon felt? He's always been so gem gentle, but he worships his, his father. He never questioned him. But the Emperor, he's clearly not behaving rationally. I just hope he's not so far gone that he'd hurt his own flesh and blood. I just pray for the day when the three of us can be together once again. It'll come, I've no doubt. <clears throat> and now more exposition. Now we meet Tana's brother. Erica, Ephraim, welcome. The two of you returning together, it's like a dream come true. You must know I've prayed every day for your safe return. I'm so happy to see you, Tana. I'm sorry, Tana, I shouldn't mean I didn't want for you to worry. Oh, it doesn't matter now. All that really matters is that we've been brought together again. My own brother will soon return from the field. It will be nice to sit down and discuss things again. Princess Tana. Prince Innes has returned from the front. Welcome home, dear brother. I'm so happy to see you return safe and sound. You didn't expect less, did you? Do you think grotto slugs could touch me? With my bow, I'll take down every grotto soldier from here to the Emperor's palace. Well met, Innes. Ephraim. It's good to see you, Prince Innes. They say Renes has fallen. I believe I warned you before. This happened because you provided, provided Grotto the opportunity to strike. Brother, mind your tongue. It's no occasion for such harsh words. Ephraim and Erica have lost their father due to this terrible war. Sorry to hear of your father's death. Hear me, Ephraim. Our most important task is to defeat Grotto and end this war. No, oh, Ennis. I'm sorry, Erica. Ephraim. It's alright. It's comforting to see that in all of this he hasn't he at least hasn't changed. Innes has hated me for as long as I can remember. And my brother looks up upon you as a rival, Ephraim. And as you know, he wants to be the best at everything. The best king, the best general, the best fighter, the best man. He won't allow himself to be beaten at anything. Tana, you talk too much. My father would like both of you to sit with him in a war council. Will you come with me to take part in our official audience? Yes, of course. There's much that I have to tell him. It will be our honor to attend this way. <clears throat> Does my heart good to see you all here, safe, safely within our castle walls. Would that we had more time for pleasantries, but let us hear your wood news. Very well, I will begin. I directed the body of Frelia's army south to engage Grotto directly. Our troops are proving themselves superior, and the battle progresses favorably. Hmm. But the riddle still needs answering. Why does Grotto begin this war in the first place? Majesty, we may well have found something relating to that. We learned something on our travels, news that weighs heavily upon us. Ah, uh, yes, our messenger delivered your report to us a few days ago. Grotto is trying to destroy the sacred stones, is that it? Yes. We strike us in the tower's defenses. Frelia's stone is safe for the time being. But we remain confused in this. What does Grotto hope to gain by destroying the sacred stones? I feel like I'm not even going to get to the chapter. That we have to play. I feel like this is gonna be like a two-parter. Honestly, I have no idea. It might be, depending on how long the, the chapter is. But we'll see. We done now. Legends say the stones protect us all from the power of darkness. I can't say if it relates, but I have a story about Grotto. It's been troubling me, and I would like to share it with you all. Mirror, come here, please. Yes. Who's this girl? On her wings. On her back. Wings? Ephraim, who is she? This is Mer. I fight her. I've met her while fighting in Grotto territory. Mer, would you please tell everyone here the story you told me? I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. Mer. I think so. I don't know. Please, Ephraim, you tell them. She's a bit shy. Very well. Mer tells me that she belongs to an ancient race of dragon folk. They're mentioned in a few legends. They're called the tribe of Manakit. Manakit? Yes, their names appears. Several times in the tale of the sacred stones, it says they're neither human nor demon, but a separate, aloof race. Please, Mir. 
We live in the east, in Darkling Woods. One day, yes, we felt something. An ominous energy to the south. From the direction of Grotto, we felt a force flowing out of the emp Grotto Empire. Sully and I, we went to investigate this energy. But on our way, we came across a battle and were drawn into the conflict. Mera got lost and was wandering aimlessly in an isolated region near Grotto's border. I met some wicked folk there. They deceived me and chained me. They stole my dragon stone. They were preparing me for transport. It was in that moment when Ephraim appeared and rescued me. I stumbled across Mer by chance when Grotto's men had ambushed us. Everything she told me seemed beyond belief, and yet, and yet when I saw her wings, what could I do but believe? This dark energy, this dark wave of energy, still flows from the Southlands. Its current is strong and runs deep. It has awakened the evil ones. I want to stop it. Hmm. Your Majesty, I bring word. What is the origin you would interrupt a private council? The tower holding the sacred stone of Frelia. It's been destroyed by the Grotto army. What? That's impossible. What are the soldiers on watch? There were supposed to be many. The enemy forces. They were led by Kalek, the Tiger Eye, and Selina Flowerspar. Our soldiers fell before even half a day had passed. Selina Flowerspar. Ah, only General Dussel is higher in Emperor Vigard's esteem. She's the one. She came personally. Said, I really do wish to see the Sacred Stones destroyed. Blast. Alright, and here we get to see a whole bunch of green units die. Not really surprising. They're green units after all. And then they run away. Oh, no, this green unit is dumb enough to attack. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> all the green units. No wonder this castle fell so fast. Or the tower fell so fast. There was all a bunch of green units protecting it. Ah, so this hunk of rock is a sacred stone, eh? So much fuss over something as fragile as this. Watch, it crumbles so easily. Do we gain anything by this? Not that I care, but... Black-hearted fool, what have you done? Without the stone's protection, the horrors will spread. Huh, what's this? Still breathing, are you? Come, if you have any last words, you'll hear them, fool of Frelia. You monster. You waste your last words on insults. And feeble ones at that. <sighs> Hardy laid the right note to enter the eternal on, wouldn't you say? Well then, die. And he crits him just to be sure. Ah uh, yes, critting a green unit when they're at low HP. Always something that I'm reminded of. Hold. What are you doing, Kalek? Our job was to destroy the sacred stone. I know that. And I crushed it, did I not? But if we don't clean up these Frelian curs, they might. You do not raise your blade to anyone who is powerless to resist you. The Emperor does not desire us to kill without cause. That would be murder. You don't know the Emperor, then. Right, the Emperor. Your name's Selena, isn't it? Tell me, Selena, what makes that pasty-faced old fool's words so important? Wretch, do you dare insult his Imperial Majesty? Hey, hey I'm joking. Don't get so worked up. Is my? I got it now. You're a true and loyal soldier. Oh god, lag. Here we go. I'm leaving before Frelia sends reinforcements. Coming? Oh no. <clears throat> How could this happen? How could I have allowed our sacred stone to be destroyed? Dark energies from the Imperial Capital. Empire's Capital. Evil monstrosities roaming our lands. Fryguard's mad invasion. And now this. The destruction of our sacred talisman. And we have no idea of Grotto's goals. We are in dark times once again. But even so, we cannot sit here, wringing our hands. First, we must learn... We must warn the nations that house the remaining sacred stones. Fryguard seeks to destroy the stones. They are all in grave danger. Johanna and Rosten must be warned. The nations must join together to fight our common foe. Do you think they will believe us? Hmm. It is a difficult tale to believe, I must agree. I will go, Father. Innes? A direct visit from the Prince of Felia is not something they can ignore. I will travel to Johanna, where I will forge an alliance with her queen. If her sacred stone has been destroyed, then Felia could be in greater danger. Father, I cannot let you leave the nation in such a time of crisis. It is imperative that I be the one to go. Hmm. And I will be. And I will head for Rosten. Erica, you know I can't let you put yourself in such danger. 
Rest easy, dear brother. I will journey to Rostan by ship across the North Sea. There will be no danger. And I have made a vow. I will fight as you have until the day Renes is liberated. I understand. King Hayden, I will take troops and march on the Imperial capital from the West. The West? Are you saying you will bring in an insult? An assault? On Grotto from here? If we can take Grotto Keep, the war will be over. The Sacred Stones will be safe. If we start here and press forward with all our might, and once you reach the capital, Vargard's general will be waiting there for you. If they oppose us, we will fight. <clears throat> you got your father's foolhardy courage, don't you? Very well, and trust all our hope to you, Sui. Innes, you will go to Jehenna. Erica to Rosten. Erica to Rosten and Ephraim the Imperial Capital. I believe I read that. Sorry, I had to make a quick cut. So sorry, there's a little bit of a discretion. See there? Funding you will have. But of soldiers, we have few to spare. Hmm. For each of you, a difficult road awaits. If any of us meets with, with defeat, the battle will turn to Grottle's favor. There must be no errors. We must not fail. Where I command, there are no mistakes. I have no doubt I'll succeed. I swear it. Come, it is time to go. I can... I can breathe. No, nope, I cannot breathe. Farewell, brother. I will return. Hmm. To be honest, I still do not want you to go. I'd rather you wait here for my return. Please, Ephraim. I'll be fine. There's no need for you to worry. Mine is the easiest task, and I'll be in no danger, Miss Yua. I'm far more worried about your mission. Challenging the might of an empire with a handful of men? What's this now? Have you lost your faith in me? No, of course not. I know your true strength, Ephraim. No one can defeat you. Aha, uh -huh, hearing you say that fills me with confidence. I think I know my own limitations. I won't overextend my reach. I can't die and leave you on your own, can I? Ephraim. Let us both survive to be reunited. Give me your word, Erica. You have it, brother. Erica and Ephraim, blah, blah, blah. They'll now part ways. I'm going with Ephraim. I don't care. You will go with Ephraim. Hell yeah, I will go with Ephraim. Prince Ephraim. Oh, this is funny. Is that you, Seth? I'm most ready to depart. I'm leaving Erica in your care. Actually, my lord, we have the honor of riding with you. What? What about Erica? The princess informed me that she will be accompanied by a Frelian escort. She tells me that she does not need a large retinue on such a small ship. I understand, but we must be prepared for anything. I'll be fine, Seth. Please, go and attend Erica. Lord Ephraim, this is Lady Erica's wish. She implored us to land our blades to you on the front lines. And I'm going to need Seth for the upcoming chapter. I think this is the Wyvern chapter, and it's annoying as hell. She spoke to each of us individually. She knelt before us and beseeched us to go. Her sincerity, her concern. We could not help but be moved by her plea. Oh, Erica. Very well. You will all come with me. But steal yourselves. This will not be an easy journey. I want only volunteers who are unafraid of meeting death. I will let the others know. I must tell you, my lord. They are already preparing to depart. They know the risk they are taking. And not a one will be the third. Awesome. Here we go, boys. Chapter 9. Fort Rigwald. Oh, and the Tower of Alney. So that's something. Alright, here we go. Um, just gonna do a quick check of items. Yeah, the Tower of Alney has appeared uh, east of Castle Frelia on the world map. Once held by Grotto's troops, it has become home to a host of dark creatures. Battling those monstrous cities is a good fight for your units to gain strength. Try using the tower as a training area to gain extra experience. Beware, you cannot save your battle preparations for tower skirmishes. Once you clear a map, you'll have to access the next floor. Each map is more difficult than the last, so come prepared. Dark creatures also may appear on other bases on the world map. To engage these demons in combat, simply place the cursor on their location and press the A button. If the battle goes poorly and you're in danger of losing units, use the retreat command on the map menu to withdraw your units. Oh, hey, an entomb- <laughs> What? An entombed already? Should we do the entombed battle and save this chapter for uh, the next video? Mm. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my decision after I do some battle like some item checks and I'll be right back All right, so I think I've made my decision. I got some new items. I've managed my items. I think pretty well I uh, put a javelin on Ephraim as you expect. I have a javelin on Ford and I'm still undecided with Kyle I'm still gonna use him for now, but you know, I'm not entirely sure so let, we're gonna do the entombed and we're going to save chapter 9 for the next uh, episode. 
Because this episode is going to be super long if I do chapter 9. So let's just do a quick skirmish. See how tough this monster is. Zaha Woods. Alright, let's see. Which, what do we got here? Alright, let's uh, see. Who can I pick for this? Um, I'm not going to use Seth. I think I'm only going to need one healer. So let's bench... Uh, let's bench Natasha for now. Uh, let's take Joshua... And uh, let's take Kyle, I think. Yeah, that should be good. All right, let's start this chapter. I don't really think I need to do much with formation, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's see what we got. I'm bringing Colm because I want him to get some experience in this. So. Also, I definitely need to get a kill to... Let's see, can I get a kill? Ooh, actually, if he doesn't crit here, this is perfect. Don't crit here, though. All right, that's fine. Nice, friends. don't crit. Thank you. That's a kill for loot, awesome. I need to get as many kills as I can for loot in this chapter, and I think Franz. Not Franz, uh... Shit, what was his name? Uh, Joshua. I need to get kills for Joshua, too. Which, you know, he can probably one round on his own. It's a loot I'm a little worried about for now because he's a little frail right now. I also love that level up. Amazing. I can't really say anything about it. It was just that good. Uh, Kyle, you take out this zombie over here. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Mm, I just used... Nah, he wasn't... He's not gonna kill, so... Just don't miss Kyle, please be good. I know he's on a forest, but come on. Just don't be bad and hit him. Oh my god. Kyle! Why are you so bad? It just, you can't be this bad, Kyle. You really can't. Now is not the time for jokes. Mmm. I think only one zombie can reach loot. Let me just double check. Just barely, okay. Loot is just barely out of range. So let's put you there. Uh, Mulder, I think, is out of range of all the zombies. Yeah, Mulder is fine where he is at. Uh, let's put you. Uh, let's put you next to loot. Maybe you can get a kill. Who knows? And I want Mulder actually closer to here because I feel like he's going to need be needed around here. Might as well heal loot up, you know, just for extra precautions and some more experience for Mulder. Oh, there's an archer there. I completely forgot about that. Ross is ple completely flying in this chapter. He can, like, solo all the enemies here if he really needed to. Alright, Ross, you're doing good. It shouldn't be that hard of a chapter. Well, it's not really a chapter, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, they're all, like, focusing Ross. I don't know why. I mean, hey, more experience for Ross is perfectly fine for me. Ah, oh, Ross. Ah, oh, Ross. Oh man, Ross. Man. Ross. What are you doing? Ah, he won rounds. Damn. I mean, it's expected. Franz is a good unit, so... He's like one of the only units I have right now who's like on par with, uh... Seth. Almost. Just not as bulky. Um... That's actually a kill for, uh, Calm. That's cool. And some experience for loot. But if she crits, she kills. She gets some even more experience, which is fine by me as well. I need to get a fire tome for loot. I gotta remember to do that later. Alright. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage and a lot of HP. I forgot how, like, scary Entombed can be sometimes. Um, ooh. Is this a kill for loot? Ah, oh, <laughs> it's just under. Um, ah, oh, I don't have a, hmm. Alright, well, Calm, you're gonna kill this guy. I decided you're getting the experience for this dude. Nice, Calm. I like how experience is, like, divided with them. Uh... Ah, you won round. Mm. 
Ah, that sucks. I really wanted to get a kill to loot. Can I? It's scary, but like, there's no crits, so there's not really much worry here. There we go. Now we got a kill to loot. That's what I like to see. And Joshua got some experience too. Really nice. I think I'm gonna send Franz to take care of the archer. Just because I don't want to deal with him. I wonder how tough the boss is gonna be for this chapter. Probably not gonna be that tough. That was a lot of experience. Ah, uh, yes, loot. You're becoming a god. I love loot. Alright. Uh, Franz. You should one round here. Yeah, you do. Steel bow is a little scary, but not that bad. Alright. Um. Oh, yeah. Kyle, you need healing badly. Let me just check if. Uh, I don't think Edison can reach Mulder if he's there, so he should be fine. But just in case, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a little paranoid and uh, mend. Ha! <laughs> Tanky Mulder. Alright, let's leave Kyle here. Uh, and then continue to build support. Wait, where can Garcia? Garcia move here. Oh, hey! They're at A rank. Awesome. Ross. What is it, Dad? Ow, ow, ow. What are you doing? That hurts. You're crushing my shoulder. Ross. What's wrong, Dad? Ross, I'm going to be sentimental. <laughs> you just said Ross so many times. I'm going to be sentimental for a moment. Bear with me. Huh? You may be almost grown, but you're all I've got in this world. It's true that your skills have improved, but don't act foolishly. Huh? There's no greater tragedy than when a parent must bury his child. Do you see where I'm going with this? <clears throat> yes, I understand. It's just weird to hear you talking like this. I guess I have been getting a big head. No one is invincible. Yes, that's right. And when, you're st when you start to think you are, that's when you're the most vulnerable. I was just all puffed up when you said I had improved. I'll be careful from now on. I haven't told this to anyone, but I guess dads can see these things. And Matt, how old you'll get? You'll always be my son. Yes, and I'll always look up to you. Aw, oh, what an amazing support. Alright. Uh, Fran should be fine on his own for a little while. So I'll just think I'll just leave him alone. Oh, wow, that, that dog. Kind of scary, actually. Do I? Uh, I don't have the, uh... I like that animation. Um, I don't have the... I, did, I should wish I had the hatchet equipped there. That actually would have been a kill. Alright, uh, loot does some good damage. Let's see. Kyle, you one round. Awesome, you're doing something. I mean, there is some merit to having a tank, and I'm definitely gonna need a tank in, like, the, uh... I think chapter 9 is the Wyvern chapter. Pretty, I'm pretty certain it is. And Kyle's pretty tanky on his own. Oh, yeah, you get gold for these, so that's cool. Oh, let me heal Joshua before I send him into combat like a buffoon. Alright, where can loot go? Can she attack the dog? She cannot. Alright, um... Let's see, how do you do, Joshua? You don't do too badly, but I want to block off the bridge if I can. Just in case, because all those monsters are a little scary. Alright, another kill for loot. I feel like all I'm doing with Joshua is just giving kills to loot. Not a bad idea, but hey. Alright, and... Yeah. Let's leave that on. Ah, uh, Colm can go over here. I do want to move off the, uh, I want to take the forest away from the dog, so I think that's perfectly fine. Oh my god, their support is so good. Look at that crit. I know it's against a monster, but damn. Monsters have, like, no luck. But damn, the support is so good. Alright, now he should be, yeah, he has way better hit rates now. All right, Franz taking out the uh, dogs, which is fine. Ooh!
Oh my god, she gets doubled by a dog. Ah, that's scary. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, that's a kill for Colm, I think. Ooh, that's a little shaky, but I think I can hit him. Alright, cool. Colm, it would be really nice if you actually got some strength, though. Just saying. Mmm... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to heal loot. Thank god I brought a healer, though. Even if it's a monster trap, I can't take it lightly. Alright, Kyle, go ahead and kill this. Ooh, yeah, that would have been scary if I had Gilliam on my team. It would have, like, probably one-rounded him. Because Gilliam's defense isn't actually that good. He, I think he's, like, the weakest... One of the weakest armor knights you get. At base, at least. Because nine defense, it's good, don't get me wrong, but, like... God, it's, like... It could be so much better. Ten... They're about at the same level now, and... Obviously, Ross is just so much better. Um, I feel like Joshua can be fine here. Nope, that's Ross. Yeah, Joshua can be fine on the bridge. Chuck a Volnari to be fine. And yeah, should be able to one round all of them. Oh yeah, right, he can just do this. <laughs> uh, let's put you there. Let's kill the dog. <coughs> Good job, friends. Get a level up. What level are you now? 12? 13? Ah, friends, you're so good. Alright, uh, I think I'm just gonna give this kill to Joshua if he doesn't just one round him with a crit. Nah, he doesn't. Alright. I like using iron weapons against monsters because it's just so much better. I think it's uh, easier to use iron weapons on them than, you know, waste your, like, strong weapons like silver and all that. That's why I'm not, like, not wasting, like, my big weapons like javelins and whatnot on them. Because I don't feel like there's much point until you face, like, enemies like this. He's not even that scary, honestly. He's pretty weak. Uh... Let's see, what does he have? He has a... Uh, what kind of axe? Steel axe, so he should be fine. Let's see, what are his hit rates? Oh yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> it's pretty okay. The dog is what I'm really scared about, though. Mm, maybe if I kill... If I kill the, uh... Yeah, if I kill this guy... Then, uh, Joshua, I think, can safely one round, or at least, you know, get some good experience. Let's see, how, where, where does the boss move? Alright, so yeah, Joshua's completely safe right here. And if I really want to, I can like, move Franz here with a uh, iron sword. The tank, the uh, I forgot the name of these guys. What are the name of them? Tarvos, right. Weird name, because that's also a name of an axe in uh, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, but whatever. Column can move here, and Mulder, you're fine there. Alright, Fran's getting more experience, nice. I'm not opposed to this at all. But that does mean he misses out on uh, baiting the Tarvos, which, eh, it's not the biggest deal in the world. The Tarvos has pretty shit hit rates anyway. Oh! Eh, he should be fine, he's not gonna get doubled by a uh, dog. I always thought Calm was fast enough to double dogs at base, but I guess not. Oh yeah, what was I worried about? The only problem is these guys are a little tanky. Which kind of sucks, but eh, it's not a big deal. It's like throwing Joshua up against the Cavalier. It's not going to do a lot, but you know. It'll do some okay damage. Um, If I just chuck a hand axe. Really, Ross? I mean, really, Garcia? I said Ross, lol. Uh, yeah, this is fine. If it just block off the zombies' path, then they can't reach loot. Then, uh, what's his face? Can go kill the dog. Ah, loot. I mean, that was good. You got magic, but, like, come on. 
Uh, I don't want to kill all of them, but if loot just takes on one of them, he, they, she should be fine. So she doesn't get attacked by all of them. She only gets attacked by one, so. I think that's fine. All right, Calm. Show them what you're made of. Aw, oh, Calm. Why did you miss? I needed you to hit there. I actually needed you to hit. I wonder if Kyle can actually reach in. Probably not, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Ah, uh, no, Kyle cannot reach. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think I'd much... I actually I think it's fine. Let's see, how does he do with the... I can risk a crit, I guess. Nah, no crit. Alright, whatever. It was worth a shot. Alright, friends, go ahead and kill him. <laughs> I'm happy this entomb spawned because I like I like to get all the level ups I can. What the hell? I don't know why my like game like slows down like that. Or well not really slows down, but like kinda just stops or like pauses. It's a little weird. Alright, loot, show them what you're made of. Ooh, nice. The dodge. You didn't really need to. I would have looked Preferred some experience for Mulder, but whatever. Loot the Prodigy. Mm, I don't know who I'm... Ooh, the boss. I don't know who I'm going to give the boss expert, really. You got hit there, Ross. That's surprising. I wasn't expecting Ross to actually get hit by the boss. Ooh, why is... I mean, I guess it's more damage, but, you know, it's not a big deal. It's a little scary, but I don't think Ross is going to die here. Yeah, Haras is fine. All right. I think, honestly, if I can, I want to see if I can get the kill. Mm, no, I can't. What about you? I can definitely kill you with Calm. So that's more experience for Calm. I think he's going to level up again. Yes, he levels up. All right, good. Exact experience. Perfect. Perfect. That was amazing. Um... What about you? Do you one round? You exactly one round with a iron sword. Perfect. Ouch. That's a little painful. Perfect, Joshua. Ah, you're a bit caught up. Nice. You're fast. You're very fast. Alright. Uh, loot. I don't think loot one rounds here, so she's going to need the help of uh, Ross to finish off. Because Ross is going to one round regardless, I think, so. I feel like I can cheese the Wyvern chapter. Oh, I could have got some experience on uh, Mulder, but whatever. Alright. So that's going to be the end of the chap the end of the video guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it was kind of a little short video sort of. But hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. It was a little simple monster chapter and some exposition as you may say. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I said that like a million times, but whatever. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.